Mental Health Literacy, Wikipedia Article Audio Mental health literacy has been defined as knowledge and beliefs about mental disorders which aid their recognition, management, or prevention. Mental health literacy includes the ability to recognize specific disorders, knowing how to seek mental health information, knowledge of risk factors and causes, of self-treatments and of professional help available, and attitudes that promote recognition and appropriate help seeking. The concept of mental health literacy was derived from health literacy, which aims to increase patient knowledge about physical health, illnesses, and treatments. Framework Recognition Knowledge Attitudes Knowledge versus attitudes Of the public Measures Approaches to Improving Literacy Notes and References Mental health literacy has three major components, recognition, knowledge, and attitudes. A conceptual framework of mental health literacy illustrates the connections between components, and each is conceptualized as an area to target for measurement or intervention. While some researchers have focused on a single component, others have focused on multiple and slash or the connection between components. For example, a researcher may focus solely on improving recognition of disorders through an education program, whereas another researcher may focus on integrating all three components into one program. Recognition can be broken down into symptom or illness recognition. Symptom recognition is the ability to detect beliefs, behaviors, and other physical manifestations of mental illness, without knowing explicitly which disorder they link to. Specific illness recognition is the ability to identify the presentation of a disorder, such as major depressive disorder. Knowledge is the largest component of mental health literacy, and is divided into four subcomponents. Attitudes are studied in two subcomponents, attitudes about mental disorders, or persons with mental disorders, and attitudes about seeking professional help or treatment. Attitudes can vary greatly by individual, and can often be difficult to measure or target with intervention. Nonetheless, a large body of research literature exists on both subcomponents, though not always explicitly tied to the mental health literacy. The differentiation between knowledge and attitudes is a crucial part of the mental health literacy framework. While some efforts have focused on promoting knowledge, other researchers have argued that changing attitudes by reducing stigma is a more prolific way of creating meaningful change in mental health care utilization. Overall, both approaches have benefits for improving outcomes. Because of the high prevalence of mental disorders over the lifetime, it has been argued that everyone will either develop one of these disorders themselves or have close contact with someone else who does. Consequently, members of the public need to have some knowledge to allow them to recognize, prevent, and seek early help for mental disorders. They also need to have the skills to support other people in their social network who develop a mental disorder. Surveys of the public have been carried out in a number of countries to investigate mental health literacy. These surveys show that recognition of mental disorders is lacking and reveal negative beliefs about some standard psychiatric treatments, particularly medications. On the other hand, psychological, complementary and self-help methods are viewed much more positively. Negative attitudes towards people with mental disorders have been found, such as viewing them as having a weak character. These beliefs and attitudes are potential barriers to seeking optimal professional help and being supportive of others. Researchers have measured aspects of mental health literacy in several ways. 
Popular methodologies include vignette studies and achievement tests. Vignette studies measure mental health literacy by providing a brief, detailed story of an individual with a mental health problem, and asks participants questions to identify what problem the individual is experiencing, and at times, additional questions about how the individual can help themselves. Achievement tests measure mental health literacy on a continuum, such that higher scores on a test indicate greater overall knowledge or understanding of a concept. Achievement tests can be formatted using multiple choice, true-slash-false, or other quantitative scales. Various scales have been created to measure the various components of mental health literacy, though not all are validated. Mental health literacy has been measured across several populations, varying in age range, culture, and profession. Most studies have focused on adult and young adult populations, though improving literacy in children has been a focus of prevention efforts. A number of approaches have been tried to improve mental health literacy, many of which have evidence of effectiveness. These include where slash how to get information, the networks and systems individuals use to get information about mental disorders. This may include friends, family, educators, or broader sources, such as entertainment or social media, risk factors, what factors put individuals at greatest risk for specific mental health disorders. Risk factors can be biological, environmental, causes of mental disorders, self-treatment or self-help, what individuals can do to help themselves recover without consulting with professionals, including the use of self-help books and media. Although many self-treatments are quite ineffective and even harmful due to lack of knowledge, professional help, where to get professional help and slash or what professional help is available.